and the course of the rectum is marked by two flexure remember this one there are two important flexure uh, in this uh, what we call the rectum the first flexure is the sacral flexure at the sacral level right down there uh, exactly down there this flexure you can see as it is turning from the uh, it is turning from your sigmoid colon to the down to the rectum this turn is called the sacral flexure which is actually anterior posterior curve with concavity you can see down there with concavity anteriorly let me put the picture upside down and there we go right down there you can see that and it follow the curve of your sacrum and coccyx bone you can see right down there it follows you the curve of your coccyx and your sacral bone let me put it that way now you can see this it, it turns around and follow the curve so that is forming the sacral flexure flexure is nothing it's just uh, uh, what we call the uh, it's just uh, what I say uh, it's just a turn turning point for any uh, anything which is called sacral flexure right over there we had the hepatic flexure down there we have the splenic flexure so here we got the sacral flexure there's another flexure which is called the anorectal flexure and which is uh, uh, lateral uh, anorectal flexure is actually anterior posterior curve with convexity anteriorly so this flexure which are called uh, the anorectal flexure is formed by the tone of a muscle which we call the puborectalis muscle let me show you the puborectalis muscle and how it is forming the wait 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 wait, wait. No, no, this one, pupil rectalis muscle, right over there. So you see these tiny two muscles right on there, this one, uh, this one down there, and the other one down there, and in between we have got this and uh, this uh, rectum. So this kind of pushes it around and forms a flexure, which we call the anorectal flexure, and it contributes significantly in your fecal continence. All right. So remember, uh, there are one thing more. There are two main important flexures in there. There are additionally three lateral flexures as well that are superior and intermediate and inferior, which are formed by transverse fold of the internal rectum wall. And the final segment of your rectum is the ampulla. Uh, which uh, relaxes to accumulate uh, and temporarily store feces until your defecation occurs and uh, which ampulla is also continuous with uh, the anal canal which passes through the pelvic floor and ends up into this is your pelvic floor and ends up into your anus and this is anus down there you can see it 